I'm going to show you how to take any workflow from your favorite YouTube creators and build them within Claude Sonnet. If you're used to seeing templates from creators or having them behind a paywall that you want to build, but you couldn't, well, this is the video for you. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that and take any YouTube video and create that automation for yourself. You go step number one, and that is find the automation or YouTube video. Uh, that you would like to recreate or replicate, replicate, recreate or replicate. That's probably the same thing. Um, so that is step one. So for example, I've searched uh, Nate Herc and I found a YouTube video of his that I want to build out right here. I saw this and I was like, oh, that's sweet, you know? I want to build out most of it. It won't be the exact same, but we're going to get pretty darn close. And so what I'm going to do here is I take this YouTube video URL and we're going to scrape the entire video transcription. So a lot of the times I would see in other videos is you would use something uh, just to scrape the video and you'd only get a brief summary. Well, that kind of gives our system Claude a bit of a harder time to actually do that. So we're going to transcribe the entire video so we get every single word. So we have a better time building that automation and recreating it for ourselves. So we're going to take this video URL, right? We're going to copy that over. And once we do that, we're going to go step number two. And step number two is transcribe the entire the entire video from start to finish. All right, we want all of the content. So we've copied over our URL. Now what we want to do is go over to Appify. So let's actually write this down right here. Uh, using Appify. Now, if you don't have an Appify account, go ahead and create one. Uh, I just created this new one just to show you that you will get a free $5. So what you'll do is go over to Appify, uh, to the Appify store, type in YouTube, YouTube, there it is. YouTube transcript scraper by Pinto Studio. This is the one that I use. We're gonna paste in this URL from the Nate Herc video. Shout out to Nate Herc. And by the way, for this example, obviously Nate Herc, he gives you all of the templates. Uh, in his school, but if you're going to use it for somebody that, that doesn't, uh, you can do it yourself, you know, or if you want to recreate it and add, add some sort of twist to it, then you can use this as well. So we've got our output here. There we go. 931 items. Okay. So we've got our transcript and now what we want to do is come back over here. We've received our transcript. And step number three is going to be use this prompt, uh, include projects to build out the workflow for you. Okay. Now, if you see this prompt right here, this is what we're going to give to Claude, uh, your skilled N8N workflow specialist. It's going to take our YouTube video transcript and replicate that. But before we do that, you see how we have the transcript here and it has a bunch of, you know, timestamps throughout the video. Well, we want to take that out. Uh, and yeah, we don't want to give that to our system. So we want to get rid of that and just have the transcript with the text. So we'll go step 2.5. We're going to go give transcript from Appify to Claude and remove all timestamps. All right. So let's Mark this as bold. We know where we are. Step 2.5. Now, I'm going to come over to Claude right here, and I'm going to bring it up for you guys. We're going to move this over. We're going to bring over Claude. All right. Okay, and now, as you can see here, I'm going to go remove. This is just a regular Claude chat. We're going to do a Claude project right after this. Remove all the timestamps from this YouTube video transcription. And we'll come back over 
we're going to copy this from start to finish, scroll all the way down. There we go, boom, copy that over, come back over to Claude. Okay, and where are we here? I need a workflow builder. Let's just go to a, a chat. There we go. Remove all the timestamps from this uh, YouTube video transcription. We're gonna enter that and it's gonna do the magic. It's gonna take out all of the numbers. So it's drafting the artifact, YouTube transcript, text only. I'll extract just the text from the YouTube transcript, removing all timestamps. So let's see what it's doing here. And because, you know, this is a, how long is this video here? Let's see. This is a 28 minute video. So you can expect that this is gonna take quite a bit of time and you'll most likely need a pretty good LLM for this, which is why I have Claude on the pro plan. I think it is, it's the mid tier one. Uh, and so if you have an LLM like this, you can just get it to remove the text. This is gonna take a bit of time. So we'll wait for this to finish and uh, we'll get back to the rest of the video. Newsletter automation build, complete transcript. So we've got our full transcript and now we can start building out this workflow. And if you guys already didn't know, we got to throw on the AI automation workflow building glasses as they add plus 10 in efficiency and dexterity. So let's do this. Now we got the transcript. I'm going to copy this over. Going to do a full copy and now let's go back here to our steps. So we got step 2.5 done. Give transcript from Appify to Claude and remove all the timestamps. So we just did that. Check mark. Uh, step number three, use this prompt in Claude projects to build out the workflow for you. Claude projects, exactly. So now what we're gonna do is come back over, go to Claude projects. If you haven't created a Claude project before, uh, I will leave another link in the description for that, but you can pretty much just copy what I'm doing right now anyways. Any done workflow automatic builder. This is what we've used. That's going to be your title of the Claude project. All right, and then we're going to add in some instructions and some files. So for the system instruction, we're going to add in this prompt right from my school here. You can copy and paste this, uh, take a screenshot, do whatever you got to do. This prompt is just telling it you are a workflow specialist. Your task is to take the YouTube video transcripts uh, and replicate them exactly. Give me a downloadable JSON file, da, da 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 We don't need to know the rest. We just need to see the results. So the system knowledge prompt, all right, we're gonna enter that in and we're going to add in some workflows. So if you already have some workflows that you've built or have templates, just enter them in here. So you go to files, uh, upload from a device and then you know you can just add some workflows uh, like this here add in those workflows add in about four or five for examples and from there you can add in the github uh, content from n8n you can enter all of this if you'd like just to give Claude a better chance at building out a proper workflow and not having uh, you know as many mistakes uh, and get as close as you can to replicating that workflow. Once you do that, okay, for this example, we're not gonna import those because I'm gonna show you how good the result is without the N8N documentation. I would recommend to add in the N8N documentation, but for this example, we are not going to. And so we've added in the workflows, we've got the system instructions, and now what we're gonna do is, how can I help you today? So. We're gonna use this prompt in Claude Projects to build out the workflow. I'm gonna ask it, build out this N8N workflow for me in a downloadable JSON file to upload to N8N. And now what we're gonna do is paste, boom, we pasted in the entire transcript without any timestamps. And now we're gonna send that off with Claude Sonnet 4.5. This is gonna take a bit of time as well. And as you can see, I told it build out this NADN workflow for me in a downloadable JSON file. I would also add to this, um, give me an artifact downloadable JSON file. Sometimes it just gives you the code and you can't download it. 
um, and you can just copy it and then you'll have to paste it and convert it into JSON or whatever. So you want to let it know to build out an artifact for you. And that is in fact what it is doing here for us. So let's let this do its thing. It's going to build out the JSON file for us. We're then going to upload it and get that email newsletter workflow built out for us. So let's go. Small plug as this has just completed. Uh, if you want to come join one of my AI schools, the AI Automation Club or the Elite Club, go ahead and check the link in the description below. Love to see you in there. Now we've got our JSON file and what we can do is copy this. But if you come over to this arrow, you can go download as JSON. And that's what we're going to do. So we've got that JSON file downloaded. Now what we're going to do is create a new workflow. Open this up so you can actually see what's going down. Import from file and we're going to import that latest JSON file and boom, there you go. We've got a schedule trigger, got some initial research. We've got a split out. So I'm already seeing some things from this image right here. Obviously it's not exactly the same. We've got an aggregate here as well. So let's actually just go through these agents though. Planning agent, section writer agent, and editor agent. So we've got all those agents. There is a Tavali and a Gmail node as well. So I don't see the Tavali. Uh, so I'm assuming you would have to add those in. We've got the Gmail and we've got all the LLMs split out and aggregate. Is there a schedule trigger? Yes, there is. Okay, and so obviously you're gonna have to watch through some of the video or even just you know add your own sauce to it, but it gets you pretty darn close. Uh, and it's just a good base to start from. And so if nobody offered this template to you to download, you can just recreate it on your own through this method and you will be good to go. So if you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what your favorite AI tools are, what videos you wanna see next. Come join one of my AI schools, say what's up, and I will see you guys inside there, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.